Hello my soccer universe. Well, I did not plan on it, but I thought let's get, get it in uh, the FA Cup semi-final and let's make this a little bit of a cup thing as well. Since there's some surprise happening, at least that crept up on me in France. The FA Cup semi-finals, at least from my point of view, both delivered upsets. I said it will be a Manchester final, no? We're getting a London final and I think the big surprise is definitely up to these guys. Um, Arsenal, the Gunners. I was actually thinking since I have here two Chelsea jerseys, I could wear a Chelsea jersey. I said no. After that performance against Man City that no one expected, I gotta wear the Gunners. Honestly, and it's probably one of my favorite shirts from the Premier League. Anyway, uh, that I have. Anyway, um, the first semi-final was Arsenal against Man City and to be honest, uh, I did not watch it because I wanted to actually see more Italy stuff and then I was totally surprised um, when I switched over, I think it was after Sassoli game, I switched over at um, during, during, during the first half and I saw that Arsenal had a 1-0 lead over Man City and very quickly, you will get a more detailed view of me, I don't like these new Man City jerseys with the mosaic pattern, they look ridiculous. I love the Puma uh, crafted by culture idea, but for Man City, uh, it looks ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So the story of that game was, uh, more or less, that uh, City actually had a very uh, attacking first 10 minutes, but uh, except for a Mustafi mistake, which is something you would expect, come to expect from Arsenal to make mistakes on the, on the back. Uh, did not produce any shot on goal. On the other side, after those 10 minutes, Arsenal really got in, into the game and actually controlled the ball. The ball was moving and they played almost like City, which is the thing that, I mean, this is the um, apprentice showing the master what he can do. Uh, so that was really, really, really surprising when I saw that in the highlights when I heard that uh, in commentary after, after, afterwards, I was really, I couldn't believe that. Arsenal now had beaten Liverpool and they were about to slay the big Man City Dragon. And uh, there was a huge chance by Aubameyang, it was relatively easy that he missed. But uh, in the 19th minute after a cross from Pepe, he drop kicks it from the, a very uh, acute angle into the net to a rather deserved Arsenal lead uh, that should have been honestly more. There was no shot on goal from City. In the second half, City finally comes out storming and uh, yeah, there were chances there. I think the first shot on goal was then saved by Martinez, who is another story for our Arsenal. He's the backup goal goalkeeper, but he might well be the first goalkeeper. And goalkeepers are a story in this FA Cup semi-final. So yeah, um, I think it was a free kick by De Bruyne, but overall it was it felt rather un, un, uninspired. It is like the city that we saw uh, midweek, or already barely hanging hang on to a win over Bournemouth. I was, that's really weird because City had a, such a, a emphatic weeks before, but ever since this verdict came out, either the opponents try to play hard, hard against them, or there is something that just doesn't feel all that right to, to, to us. Maybe they don't have to prove anything anymore. And so Arsenal gets the second goal to a wonderful uh, counter-attacking move that almost you thought was dead. I mean, it started over Tierney, then it goes over Pepe. Pepe plays it back to Tierney, who then with a wonderful uh, pass forward to all, Aubameyang sets him free on goal. The 71st, it's done and dusted. Arsenal wins 2-0. Unbelievable, on, 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 honestly. This was a great game that unfortunately I didn't see much. The second semi-final I saw, it was not all the other game between City, uh, uh, United and Chelsea, I'm sorry. Um, I think the what stuck in my mind from there, at least from first half, is the big when uh, Bailly and, um, what's his name? Maguire, uh, Cole Collier, both had to be, uh, treated on the field which caused a long delay and a super long stoppage time so long that the opening goal by Chelsea after a really nice cross from Aspilicueta is scored by Giroud with a cheeky uh, outside foot finish that I have to say um, the hair did not look very good, good on that one I thought yes cheeky finish really well done 
but I think the hair needs to have this ball. And he definitely need, needs to have the ball in the 46th minute. Uh, right after the start, honestly, you have to have this ball. There is no question, question about it. Uh, it was just a tentative shot by Mason Mount from far out. It, I think does it bounce once or, or twice? It's an easy save. I don't know what he is he, he's doing. He's basically doing like that and then touches the ball and it goes in the internet. Uh, this is a sh shot that should not even be cleared for a corner. Really hor horrible. Yes, uh, Sosha made some changes to his, to his United team. Uh, but I think if you make two of those errors, honestly, it's not the changes that did that. It was feeling that Maguire then scores an own goal. And don't get me wrong, Chelsea actually was the, I felt, was the better team throughout. Uh, ahead of the game, uh, United has won three clashes against uh, Chelsea this year. I thought that United might ac actually make it uh, a poker for, but no, um, you know. He brought them on uh, Pogba, he brought on uh, Greenwood, he brought on Igalo, everything to try to get, they only get a penalty through Bruno Fernandes. So we have the FA Cup final, is a repeat of the Europa League final last year, Arsenal against Chelsea, uh, played on the 1st of August at Wembley. Will be an interesting final. I did not expect a London final. I was actually suddenly hoping to have a London-Manchester final. But you know, a London final it is. So there you go. And then I just want to get this in because uh, as a kind of what to watch for. Uh, we have in France two cup finals coming up and so PSG will not come all that unprepared to the champ Champions League. We have first, and this is while I'm already on vacation, we have that on 24th of July PSG is playing Saint-Étienne for the Coupe de France. And then for the Coupe de la Ligue, this is on the 31st of July, a uh, week later, so you get that well, I just put, put it in here, they will play then against Lyon in the Coupe de la Ligue final and also gives like a preparation time for Lyon. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the FA Cup final, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.